Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing an unboxing and demo of this 10 inch large touchscreen dual doubled in radio. In this unboxing, we're going to pull this box apart, show you everything that this car radio comes with, including the wiring harness, um, all the bits and pieces, the accessory, and we're going to get this thing booted up for you and do a demo here on the bench. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get this box pulled apart, some of the big highlights of this radio, first and foremost, is the screen size. It's huge, and what it does, it actually, as you can kind of see down in this um, bottom right-hand corner, sticks out from the normal doubled-in radio. The chassis itself is a standard doubled-in. However, the screen, because of the size itself, sticks out just a little bit and allows you to accommodate a large 10-inch screen. Now this radio itself does accompany both the software for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in addition to you know your standard doubled in features like Bluetooth, uh, USB, um, backup camera compatibility, etc. So let's go ahead and get this box pulled apart and show you everything that it comes with. You have a main box. Here, this box comes with dash pieces, Bluetooth mic, your main wiring harness adapter, your um, AV harness, has your um, pre outs, front rear sub, backup camera harness, mounting brackets if needed, screws, and an optional trim piece. And what's left in here is the radio itself. Now we have the screen here on the side as well as the main doubled in. Also comes with the remote. So obviously no screen on this per se is just the brain of the matter because the screen will be separate. Now as you can see here, this sticks out quite far and this is what you'll actually mount the screen to. This is the harness that goes to the input on the back of the screen itself and that's how you can adjust and mount your screen to this doubled in. So if you have a vehicle that you're looking to install an aftermarket radio and it can accommodate a doubled in radio, this will fit. Uh, keep in mind the screen will kind of stick up. So generally if you have vents above your radio, the screen probably would block those vents. But um, if you don't and want to give this a shot, it's a good fit. So here on the front here, like I already mentioned, this is our main plug that plugs into our screen. We have a few buttons here, starting on the left-hand side. We have to push the talk, which will launch Siri or Google Assist. You have an SD card slot in here as well. So if you want to load music in there and permanently put it in there, that works great. You have your mode button, your band button, uh, a front-mounted USB. By the way, there's also a rear USB as well. And then you got your main home button to take you back to the home screen. Of course, right here in the middle, you have your volume and you can push this to mute as well as hold to shut down the unit. So that's your main buttons here on the front. Now here on the back, we have the USB here. So this will be the USB that you'll want to use for CarPlay and Android Auto. Pulling that USB off to the side, starting left hand side, we have our standard Motorola input for our AM FM connection. We have our inputs for both the pre-outs for front rear sub RCAs for amplifiers as well as our AV input and in addition to the um, backup camera harness that all plugs into these ports here you have your mic input right there in the center and then the connection for your main wiring harness and that's about it here on the chassis now if you notice here on the top of the radio it actually goes ahead and identifies what wire color does what. So if you're unsure about what hooks into where, check this on out. They actually put the diagram for all aftermarket colors here. It's pretty standard here in the industry as well as what RCA uh, port does what. So kind of cool. Very careful. That's our screen itself. It looks like a tablet, really. You can see how this will connect into our radio here with these um, protruding brackets. And then that harness that we showed you on the double in that sticks out will plug into that port there. But that's about it. There's no hard buttons on the screen itself. It's just a touch screen and that's about it. So at this time, what we're gonna do with this screen is we're gonna get it mounted up to our doubled in radio over here. Um, we're gonna put some power to it so we can get this thing booted up for you and show you all the specs.
Okay, first time boot up. So we got this all ready to go. Um, very large screen. It looks like it went immediately to the AM FM here. But first impressions here. Looks nice. It's a huge screen. Big easy buttons to click on here. Looks like we have other options for display. Android Auto, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Audio, AVN. Got our settings here. Micro SD from the front, USB in the back, as well as our AM FM. Pretty cool. So we can manually adjust the, the dimmer and brightness right there on the front. So here on our radio, we have different presets. You got FM 1, 2, and 3, got AM, we got EQ, and as well as a keypad here, unless you want to jump straight to a certain frequency. So that's our basic radio. USB here will illuminate if we connected a USB down below. SD card will illuminate if we have an SD card there as well. And finally, CarPlay here. CarPlay is specifically used whenever you have a iPhone compatible with CarPlay, which most iPhones are nowadays, connected to the rear USB. Going on to the next screen here, Android Auto, same thing, has to be connected to the rear USB. We have our Bluetooth phone button. So when we pair a Bluetooth phone, um, as of right now, we don't have anything connected. It is picking up the Bluetooth radio that we have here in the garage on our test bench. But we have a keypad here as well. So whenever we have our device connected, you can dial a phone, it'll load in your contacts, call logs, as well as you can jump straight to streaming music. And then you have your main setup menu there as well. AV input. Now, of course, we don't have our cables connected or a source for that AV input, but it will display there. They are standard composite inputs. So you got your yellow, red, and white connections. There's no HDMI port on the back of the radio here. So if you want HD, um, you may want to look to upgrade to a nicer screen, um, like with an Alpine. Uh, with this radio, if you want to mirror your phone, we have a video on the channel that allows you to see how to mirror a phone or display video from a phone here because through the standard USB, it will not stream any video content. So kind of keep that in mind here. Um, this AV input will be from an outside source. So again, check out that video. We'll have a card up above and the link in the description on how to watch video on your radio. And finally here, let's jump into our settings. Now it looks like we have different categories of settings here. Here in the general, you can go ahead and set up your date, your time, your time format, beep, if you want the beep on and off with each press. Radio region, this is the US of A. Going to your audio here, you have an equalizer. Looking at this equalizer, we have an eight band here, adjustment from 50 hertz all the way to 15,000 hertz. You can go through different defaulted ones, so classic, rock, jazz, electric, pop, soft, and then again, default, and then you can go into your custom and do it all yourself as well. You can reset it. You can also do your balance fade, subwoofer level here, and a optional loudness switch. So if you want a little bit more power, you turn that on. Next here, we have um, subwoofer on and off, subwoofer gain, so you can actually add or remove some of the game for that sub in case you want a little bit more a little bit less under display you have your brightness and your dimmer mode and then finally other you can see your system version and reset your radio back to factory so those are your main settings there that's about it for this quick demo and set up here if you want to see this radio in action we're actually going to be throwing this and a jeep wrangler 2008 um, in the dash there so check that video out we'll have a link in the description as soon as that video becomes available as well as the card up above thanks guys for watching be sure to hit that like button uh, don't forget to subscribe we have great content posted all the time here and uh, we will see you in the next video